Good morning everyone, hope you're well this morning. Uh, I've just been up about half an hour and I just popped into the shower just to wash. I actually just wash the fringe in the morning because I'm going to go and exercise to my exercise class later on this afternoon so I will be having a shower and washing my hair when I come back. So um, yeah, I hope you're all well this morning and it's not a very nice day again it's very very cold but at least it's not raining right, i've just washed my face um well not washed it put my um rinsed it in warm water which i do every morning and i'm just having my glass of water which i do every morning i'm doing this um sort of my daily routine one because a lot of ladies um last time on my videos said what do you um what do you drink and what do you eat what's your diet and what's your exercise routine so i thought if i put it all together a little bit that might be a little bit of a different and a bit um well hopefully that you'll like the video and get some ideas from it so i said i've put one of these little with garden capsules on um vitamin c which is really good i put one of those on every morning and then if you like you can put one of the hyaluronic acid ones but i tend to leave these on a night so i'll put the Vitamin C in the morning and on a night time I'd put the hyaluronic acid. So after that I would put my serum on which is um, the DR Catch Total Serum. Love this, really really nice and I would put that on and then like, let that soak in for a while. Just dab it on and it does make your skin smoother when, you, when you've got it on. So that's that one. So I've got my uh, creams on so the next step would be to let that dry a little bit just having a sip of water i've not had my breakfast yet actually i've got it ready to have um but it, it's only a wee to fix in the morning so that's uh, not going to take much making is it so there we go now well we'll get on to the foundation and the concealer this one is only a rimmel one I just really really like it i've used it since i was very very young and um i tend to just put a bit on my hand and then i would dab it in some people put the concealer on before the foundation i don't think it matters really it just depends what you want to do i tend to put a little bit on before i put the foundation on and that is a really good really really good cover up as you can see, I've got nothing else on, so that's that's got. You could leave it at that if you wanted. You don't have to put foundation over the top of it, but I tend to like to put just a little bit on. Um, that's about it, really. This is a DR one. Um, I've got quite a few foundation. I actually just put it on with my fingertips because they say when your fingertips get warm it, your makeup goes on nicer so as you can see it gives a nice nice coverage I think that looks really nice I'm gonna have to take this off when I go to aqua fit on so but I thought well if I show you then I don't have to show you when I come back because I'm always in a rush when I come back because I've got to go pick my grandson up from from school so that's the foundation and that is the foundation forever skin it's really really good it, it goes and lovely you can see it needs a little bit of a shine sometimes i tend to put on <clears throat> some of this charlotte tilbury flawless filter and you can put this on after you put your foundation on you don't have to put it on underneath and it just gives you that little bit of a glow as well that's quite nice and again you can either put it on, just rub it in, or I tend to just put it on with a little bit of a blush, brush. And it just gives you that little bit of a glow. So that's that. And then we come to the blusher. It's a DR one. The top's broken off. That's all I've got left. I'll put this on now because I've... You don't you just put things on when you want to put them on. There's no order, is it? A specific order that you have to put things on. 
and smite it for blusher. As you can see, I always think these, if you put blusher too far down, these lines stand out a little bit more. So what I tend to do again is just put a little more of the, you see that sort of just blends in a little bit. Okay, right, just a little bit of the eyelash curler. My eyelashes are so short and quite thin. So I don't know if it makes any difference. It might make a little bit of a difference, but I do it anyway. And then I would have to put my eyeliner on. Just a little bit of eyeliner. Actually, just on the waterline underneath at the top because I'm not very good with eyeliner. So I tend to think that this suits me better. I don't like to put too much on. I think that would that would be okay. So yeah, that's enough. Now then, what's next? Eyebrows. I think I need a new one of these actually because it's not doing much. So again, my eyebrows are a bit sparse, but I don't like to have them too heavy and like it wouldn't suit me anyway with being quite fair. So I tend to just put. A little bit of this on. I'm a bit further away actually than what I would be normal because I'm trying to sort of with me filming it I'm trying to I have to go a little bit further back so that I can get my my sort of face in the mirror so I hope you can see what I'm doing that's the only way I could think of, of doing it so then I've got like a little eyeshadow stick which I'll just pop a little bit on just to brighten the, the bottom That's that one and then I think I've got another one which I just use ultimate one and it's the colors that I like anyway so I don't have to have a, a massive palette browns bit sort of ready ones which I quite like that color actually so I tend to use that quite a bit but you don't need much on That. just a little bit just to in the socket mascara I need a new mascara as well in fact I need a, I think I need a complete overall of all my uh, makeup apart from the foundations which are relatively new um, I could do with some mascara and eyeshadows and blushes and things like that. So I'll need to uh, be having a look around to see what I can get. I'd like to have a change actually and see if there's anything better out there. But that's about it really. I don't put much on. Kind of a bit heavy handed with that one there. And that's okay as I say it's just a matter of that's okay right then so next I would put on a lip liner just a little not too thick and then it's my lipstick that lip liner actually was a MAC which is a nice colour I don't know if you can see that and then my lipstick is a MAC, which I tend to wear all the time, the same colour. And that's creme de nude. I've tried darker ones, but they don't seem to, they don't seem to suit me. So I tend to go for this one more or less all the time. Right, I think that's it. A little bit of my um, Charlotte Tilbury spray, setting spray. There we go, all done. I'll see you in the kitchen. 
Right, after I've had my glass of water uh, in the morning and got my makeup on and, and just got ready for breakfast, I will start with a teaspoonful of honey. Now this is the Manuka honey, 100 plus. Um, it's from Tesco and I think it's eight pound, but it does last quite a long time. I have one teaspoon um, every day. Sometimes I pop a little bit on my Weetabix just to sweeten it up a lot, but um, it's that's that's really nice, very tasty as well. So uh, another thing uh, I will take is an omega three fish oil. I usually take it at lunchtime while I'm having my lunch, just before or just after, just one a day. And then another drink I will have my cranberry juice, um, which is very good, and it's um, a Tesco cranberry juice drink with no added sugar. Obviously. I have my Weetabix, just normal Weetabix, and I have that with semi-skinned milk. So that's it, that's my breakfast sorted. So I'll just get have that and I'll get back to you in two minutes. Just coming down the stairs now, um, because when I'm not going to exercise classes, I like to use our exercise room downstairs. It's my husband's office. Big bedroom over there. And now we're going into the exercise room. This is a sauna, um, which is quite a nice sauna. We do usually use this on a weekend. But it's a, quite a big sauna and it seats six people. So the two of us can uh, lay down in that really nice. It's, uh, it's a lovely sauna. We've had that ooh, over 20 years now. We've had a lot of use out of it. And now we have the, just an exercise mat that we've had a long time. It's not a very good one now, actually we could do with a new one, but it still works. So you can still use it. And then we've got the treadmill, which is relatively new. Bought this about, well, over six months now, but we get a lot of use out of that. And um, I really like that, I'm glad we got that. And then we also have the rowing machine which is a good rowing machine, we use that quite a lot. And a chair in the corner if you need a rest. And we've got the dumbbells and oh, all sorts of exercise things if you feel you want to uh, to get fitter. And a good, good mirror where you can see yourself and also when you're on the rowing machine or the treadmill you can see yourself. And also we've got Alexa um, which we just turn that on when we're on the treadmill, which is quite handy for music as well. Right, we've come to the end of the video again. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been a little bit different, this one, for me to do. Um, the only trouble is when people have asked me to do a video of my other rooms in my house, it's a little bit difficult with my camera because it's, it's only a small one and I tend to um, find it a little bit difficult to do that. But I have done one on two or three of the rooms. I hope you've enjoyed it. So it's taken me quite a while to do, so it's been a little bit more um, challenging, should I say. Um, but I've really enjoyed it. And um, obviously it, the, the ladies have asked me if I could do uh, one with my daily routine on. Um, so, yeah, as I say, I've, I've enjoyed doing it. There are only one of the pictures, it's on the thumbnail, which shows me cooking. And um, now, I did do include uh, a recipe on it that I was making some spaghetti bolognese for dinner. And I thought, oh, I'll put that on as well. And it seemed to take me ages. And when I looked at the video with my beauty one being quite long, it was 35 minutes, which obviously that's far too long to put on. So if anybody's interested in me showing any of my recipes, I do a nice chili, I do lots of pasta dishes, which are, are quite healthy. Other people have asked me, uh, you know, what my diet is and my exercise routine. So I've tried to fit a little bit of everything in. So if you want to know, uh, see a few of my recipes that I, I do on a, on a regular basis, that would be fine. I, I could do a, a video showing you some of those. So you just let me know what you think. I, I'll have a go at anything if you just want a little bit of a change. I, I don't mind. So that's it for today. Next week, I'm going to be going back to my fashion video. I've got a few things coming from Next to Marks and Spencer's and Stewart Sainsbury's. So I'm going to do that one next. So 
once again thank you to all my subscribers thank you for any new ladies that have watched and, and enjoyed it would be grateful if you could subscribe and and so until next time i shall see you soon take care